On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, differentiate or discover that a TCP connect scan has occurred on your network. In this uh, video, you'll also see that I've been, I'm using a primary uh, wire capture where a TCP connect scan occurred. And so uh, you may have a capture that you're working with that you don't know what is happening. Uh, I'll take you through a couple of my first initial steps, but just so you know, this video does have a TCP connect scan that has occurred, and I'm going to use Wireshark to show you some of the patterns that TCP connect scan actually has uh, or demonstrates in a Wireshark. Okay, so honestly, the first thing I always do is I, I, I do a drive-by on the capture and to see what kind of abnormal, abnormalities we might see. So I'll, I'll honestly just scroll through, and as you can kind of see over here is that we've got some ARP action happening. And if we go down to that, we can see that uh, a broadcast is happening, uh, and that uh, all of the the potential hosts on a network are being having a packet sent to them, and and in this case we're telling 1.73. So honestly, that's a really big sign that uh, 1.73 is actually doing the scanning. Let's do. Let's check out one more piece just to confirm this. Uh, I like to go to statistics, go down to endpoints, and then I want to look at the machine that I I kind of suspect did something. Uh, we go down. We look at the, some of the machines that are happening in my private network here, and as we can see here, that like 40,000 packets are coming from uh, 1.73, and we look at the next one down. We've got 76 has quite a bit, 34 has quite a bit, but I mean uh, 40,000 out of a total of 77,000 is a, a big indicator that a lot of traffic is being generated from a particular machine. And in this case, it's 1.73. Perfect. Let's, let's dig in a little deeper and uh, look at uh, the potential scan that's happening from 1.73. At this point, we kind of have an idea of which machine is is conducting a scan on the network. We're not totally sure that a TCP uh, connect scan has happened, but we know that probably a scan is occurring. So, uh, in order to identify a TCP connect scan, we have to uh, we have to actually understand the pattern uh, of packets that are sent from a a an attacker machine or a scanning machine to a target machine, okay? So TCP connect scan is different than a, let's say a stealth scan in a, in a very big way. And basically the main difference is that a TCP connect scan actually goes through and completes the three-way handshake, which would be which would be this. We get our SYN to our target machine. We've, we've uh, targeted a open port or we've, we've found an open port and the packet is sent back to us with a syn act saying, yep, we're, we acknowledge and we'd like to synchronize. And then the final step of the three-way handshake would be the, the, the initial machine sending an acknowledgement back, and now we have a connection. Perfect. The, now this is the piece that makes a TCP connect scan interesting, is that immediately we also send a, another packet to that exact same port, and we do a reset act and effectively closing off that that connection and then you rinse and repeat go through it sin plus uh, 443 sin plus 445 sin etc 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 and as we reach an open port this process here happens all right let's go back to Wireshark and let's try to find a an example in our capture where this actually occurs this pattern here great we're back at Wireshark now because I suspect 1.73 as my machine, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into that, that machine. I want to look at all of the packets that are sent from 1.73. Okay, so these are all, all the packets that have started from my machine that I've specified. So right away I can see that uh, there's a variety of destinations occurring, 69, 77, 65, 64, um, and 
nothing is like we're, we're, we can see that there's a scan happening but let, let's go through let's go down and see if anything jumps out at us that may reflect that pattern that we've just seen I mean right here we've got a a reset and an act okay remember we're looking for reset acts um, okay so let's let's look at what we've got so let's take a look at this this little area here between 1483 and 1495 okay on machine 69 we have a port 554 that has actually that we have acknowledged so what 73 has sent an acknowledgement packet to port or to machine 1.69 okay um, we've got a couple of pieces of information 73 we've got 69 uh, and we have an act and it looks like we also have a reset act great let's let's narrow down so right now we've got about 31,000 packets let's actually get even more specific so we can really see uh, the interactions between uh, 73 and the 69 machine what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to modify my filter now and I want to include those three pieces of information, 73, 69, and port 554. Because we, we know that uh, 73 did acknowledge something on this machine on that port. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to change my source to uh, address, ADDR, uh, which is basically saying if it's a source or a destination. As you can see here, we've got my modified filter IP address of 1.73. So I'm going to get, I'm going to be getting the source and destination. I specifically want to look for packets that have uh, 554 and uh, packets that also incorporate uh, 1.69, whether that's source or destination. So it's green, so that means we're ready to go. Let's filter. And that filters it out quite a bit. Right now I've got seven packets displayed out of 77,000. And this is literally uh, all the packets that pertain to the relationship between 1.73, uh, 1.69, and on a specific port 554. So if we look back at the picture that we made where we talked about the TCP connect scan, let's try to compare that picture to what we're actually seeing in this, this capture here. Uh, step through it from the beginning. Uh, 1.73 sends a SYN packet to 1.69 and the port, destination port being 554. Packet gets sent. Come back down here. Uh, 1.69 is responding to 1.73 and it's actually sending a SYN ACK. That being our second uh, part of the three-way handshake okay 1.73 has received the sin ack and is now sending a ack packet to 1.69 on port 554 we have now completed the three-way handshake awesome and then immediately after that we've got 1.73 sending a reset ack packet over to 169 on that port effectively closing it down okay so what we've seen here is that we we've, we have isolated a a snip in time between our our scanning machine and our target machine. Now, if we go back to our main uh, uh, wire capture here, we're actually going to see that this relationship occurs repeatedly over and over and over and over again because we're actually doing it on all of the machines on the network, as we saw at the very beginning when we saw a whole stack of ARP packets. Uh, giving us a clue that a scan was happening. We could we could then repeat, uh, take out um, 69 and put in the the host address of other machines on the network, and then it would show us it would show it to us. We could swap out the port, and that would show us sort of the action that's happening with that port. Um, so there you go. Um, what we've seen in this video is an explanation sort of of the TCP Connect scan. We've seen uh, 
some various filters that we can use to filter out and sort of hone and zero in and conclude basically that we are actually in fact dealing with a TCP connect scan. Great. Hey, if you're enjoying my videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That helps me out. Um, I have a lot more Wireshark, Wireshark type videos and other security ones uh, down the road coming up. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.